Mike Gottfried said of Ron Franklin, he loves college football. So many things about Ron Franklin stand out in Mike Gottfried's memory, but one quality superseded all the other says not many like him because his voice was so strong and so good, Gottfried told AL.com on Wednesday and then add the passion he had for his job. He was a great play-by-play -play man and a good man and a great friend. We're going to miss him. Franklin, who served as play-by-play -play man for ESPN's college football primetime from 1987 to 2005, died Tuesday at 79. His partner for most of those years was Gottfried, the former college football head coach and longtime mobile resident. Gottfried said he awoke Wednesday to the news of Franklin's passing, which trickled out on social media late Tuesday. The two had kept touch regularly over the years, with Franklin making his home in Austin, Texas. I know this about Ron, I knew he loved college football, Gottfried said. He just had a passion about him that came through on the broadcast. He was just so good at what he did, and with a passion to do it the right way. The other thing I would say is that he was not negative. He wasn't taking on people all the time. He was very positive about his job. A Mississippi native and Olay Miss graduate, Franklin first came to prominence as the radio voice of the NFL's Houston Oilers in the 1970s. He later broadcast University of Texas football and basketball before joining ESPN full-time in the late 1980s. Franklin had a number of partners his first several years at ESPN, but things really clicked when he was paired with Gottfried on Saturday night primetime broadcasts. More often than not, they would team up to call big set games, such as Alabama Tennessee, Auburn, Georgia, or Florida LSU. Here's an ESPN college football primetime intro from the 2000 Tennessee-Georgia game featuring Franklin and Gottfried. A game Tennessee lost but this intro is so great. The old at ESPN CFB theme, Ron Franklin and Mike Gottfried on the call. Simpler times. Pick.twitter.com forward slash UJD7D7INYJ. Franklin's career at ESPN ended abruptly in 2011 when he was fired by the network for referring to female colleague Janine Edwards condescendingly as sweet baby and later used an obscene toward her when she protested during a production meeting. He had been disciplined in 2005 for addressing sideline reporter Holly Rowe as sweetheart on the air during a game between Notre Dame and Purdue. Gottfried was gone from ESPN by the time Franklin was fired, as his own illness caused him to step down in 2007. He said Wednesday he chooses to focus on his former partner's good qualities. He was a good man, a good family man, Gottfried said. He's going to be missed. I just think of all the great times we had working together. I just knew the guy came prepared. He worked hard. He stuttered and his voice was so dominant and so good that everybody knew he was. He loved the game, he loved the coaches, he loved the players. Franklin also called college basketball at ESPN for many years, notably working with John Sunvold and later Fran Friskilla. Tributes to Franklin from colleagues poured out on social media Tuesday and Wednesday. Just heard the news of the passing of the human larynx Ron Franklin. I prefer remembering him for the incredible voice talent he possessed. A perfectionist he needed demanded a level of concentration of himself and those around him. An outdoorsman like Kurt Gowdy R. IP person with praying hands microphone television. Just hearing the news that Ron Franklin has passed, we spent many years side by side every Saturday and Monday night for at ESPN. I always had chills when that voice opened our shows knowing it was time to go. Cutter, Kenny, John, let's have a good one. Rip dear friend. Pick.twitter.com forward slash LX0XDNBZU. Just heard the sad news that my former at ESPN colleague, Ron Franklin, has passed away. An amazing broadcasting talent, a good man, was a part of so many great at Big One Two Conference broadcast with him. RIP, partner, pick.twitter.com forward slash E2KHP59Y8Q. It was October, 90, living in Tampa. A friend crewing for ESPN needed an audio assistant in the booth. My first MPU job, first time meeting Ron Franklin. It was always a joy to work with Ron, a real pro who offered great advice. RIP Ron Franklin. HTTPS forward slash forward slash T.co IBCXNJABDP. We lost one of the best play by play men ever, Ron Franklin, today. Ron was a sportscaster at Hash KHOU 11 before moving across town to KPRC. We worked together on the old Southwest Conference radio network. He went on to spend many years at ESPN. Ron was a great friend. He was 79. Pick.twitter.com forward slash ZLGZYOK7H0.